Welcome back, everybody. Ever meet somebody and just know that person is going to go far? That's a case with a young man who, despite difficulty, is set to excel. Meet this week's Wednesday's child, Clarence. A straight-A student, 12 years old, who hopes that you'll help him score on the court of life. We're at Garage Crew Health and Fitness, and here we meet Clarence, learning the moves and the music that matches this gregarious preteen. He said on one day being in the NBA and winning a championship. When, if I win the championships, well, then I can back up on court. <laughs> this kid is a dreamer. One look into his eyes, and you see Clarence lives his life reaching for more. So who does he say he is? He almost has straight A's. I have a B plus in one of my classes. Are you kidding me? That's sad. What's the makings of a good man? And caring for the girlfriend or wife, and then having a good job and caring for the family. Respect is important because if you want others to treat you respect, then you have to treat them respect. I mean, you have to treat them in a good way and not a negative. Part athlete, part sage. Clarence is old for his age and wise. Well, all people are good, they just choose to make negative behaviors. What does Clarence want in a forever family? A loving, caring, and a playful dad. Knowing that his mom loves him and caring. What does that world look like to you? A happy world. <laughs> like many kids in foster care, Clarence doesn't give up, believing and knowing. Because I know someday I'm going to be with a family that cares about me. You know it. How do you know that? Because I know there's many people in the world that care about me. Do you know that you're lovable? Yes. Do you know that you're worthy of love? Yes. Because you are. Because <laughs> you are, Clarence. If you're watching, I love knowing you. All right, to learn more about Clarence, go to our website, news3lv.com. We're going to link you to the good people at the Adoption Exchange. These kids get me every time. It's like this close at the end of every segment. I have to take a deep breath. <laughs> what so a great worth smile. Love. And what great words. Yeah, well, they are. They're worth love. All right, let's take a look at what is coming up at uh, our 7 o'clock broadcast. A racist tweet that ends a Hollywood empire. This is not the first time, though, a social media post landed a celebrity in hot water. The list for America's top cities for staycations now out. And no surprise, the bright lights of Las Vegas earned a top spot. The reason why those stories plus any breaking news as it happens next on News 3 live at 7. Quite a surprise today for four deserving Metro police officers. Maybe you might figure out where you're going tonight. No. You to the game? game. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's officers getting free tickets to the Golden Knight playoff game. Um, Marie had to school me. I said, look, it's a hockey puck that dances. She said, no, it's got sprinkles. That's a donut. That's a donut, a dancing donut. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not the other way around, health food friend. Usually, uh, I can spot a donut from across the United States. Dunkin' Donuts and Metro Police set up a fake news conference to surprise them. Two of the officers awarded for their work in a, capturing a suspect that was on Metro's most wanted list. They knew it was good when the dancing donut made the room, right? I mean, is anything <laughs> bad when a dancing donut shows up? And as you said, oh chocolate gosh. with sprinkles. That's right. <laughs> All right. Chloe Beardsley. I know you feel the same way. Life is just good when there's donuts. Absolutely. You know, on the morning show, they had a donut that looked like a hockey puck. I don't remember which, How cool. which, which uh, business I was in town. But yeah, certainly very similar. And oh my gosh, now I'm hungry. Just call my mouth the net. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, mm, look at that. Speaking of golden nights, we've got a golden sunset for you in Las Vegas. Although it is a bit shaky up on the mountains, certainly not the case in the valley. But we are seeing critical fire weather, especially for some of our recreational hot spots with red flag warnings in effect around the Lake Mead area. Northwestern Arizona, that's why all this pink is right here. When we see dry weather mixed with high wind speeds up to 40 and even over that threshold, 40 mile an hour threshold, that's when you can see the quick uh, aid of spreading of fire. So that's why we have these warnings in effect through Thursday night. Winds